Hi, my name is Lindsay. I'm a paramedic intern at Pro EMS Center for Medics in Cambridge, Massachusetts, and today I will be conducting an abdominal assessment. First, we'll begin with an inspection. As we approach our patient, we'll want to note body habitus and any voluntary guarding. We'll check for inappropriate diaphoresis, jaundice, any icterus of the sclera, or anemia of the conjunctiva. I'll have my patient open his mouth, checking for central cyanosis, as well as any sores in the mouth, erosion of the enamel, or odors on the breath. Having him sit forward, I'll check anteriorly and posteriorly for spider nevi, and also looking for any gynecomastia. Moving down to the abdomen, we'll note whether it's scaphoid or protuberant, and we'll look for any distension, caput medusa, Gray Turner sign at the flanks, and Cullen sign at the umbilicus. Moving to the extremities, we'll check for peripheral cyanosis, clubbing, leukonychia, quilonychia, and palmar erythema. Next, we'll move on to palpation. We'll begin by asking our patient about any areas of pain or tenderness, and we'll save those for the later part of the exam. The first step is light palpation. We're going to use both hands and palpate lightly in all nine regions of the abdomen. We're looking for any areas of distension, tenderness, rebound tenderness, or masses. Once that's finished, we'll move on to deep palpation. We'll start at the spleen, noting any splenomegaly or care sign. Next is the liver noting any hepatomegaly or Murphy sign. Lastly, we'll check for both Ravsing's and psoas. Now we'll move on to percussion. We'll percuss in all nine regions of the abdomen, noting any dull, tympanic, or resonant sounds. We'll expect dull sounds over the liver and hyperresonant sounds over any areas of gas. Having my patient sit up, we'll percuss the kidneys at the costovertebral angle, noting any CVA tenderness. Lastly, we will be auscultating. You'll want to begin by listening for bowel sounds just under the umbilicus. Listen for approximately 15 to 20 seconds. You can also tape for hepatic hum. And having the patient sit forward, you can listen for renal brewies. That's going to conclude my abdominal assessment.